Hi, Robert Anthony here for MacTuts Plus. More and more, people are finding themselves using both Macs and PCs for their daily computer use. While compatibility is almost a non-issue nowadays, there is one situation that may still cause some confusion. In this tutorial, I want to explain the read-only problem you may run into when using external storage devices on your Mac, and also show you how simple it is to fix. I have here a USB drive that I've purchased and I use with various PCs at work and at school. On my Mac at home, I'm able to open the drive and I can even copy files off of the drive. But if I attempt to copy a file to the drive, I get an icon telling me that I'm not able to do so. If I try to delete a file by pressing Command Delete, nothing happens. And if I right click the file, the option to move the file to the trash can is missing. It would seem that something is obviously not right with this storage drive. If we right click the drive and select Get Info, we can see at the bottom of the info window, under the Sharings and Permissions twirl down, that we only have permission to read from this drive and nothing else. The cause of this is due to the filing system the storage drive is formatted in. If we look in the general twirl down, under the format, we can see that this drive is formatted in the Windows NT file system. NTFS is a file system specifically optimized for Windows-based computers in the way that it organizes the data on the drive. While this file system is readable on Macs because OS X can rearrange the data on the fly as it is reading it and copying it off of the drive, the way that NTFS writes the files to the storage device is not compatible. Hence, you can read but not write to the drive. Many storage devices, such as USB drives and external hard disk drives, come pre-formatted in NTFS because a larger portion of consumers are still using them on PCs. However, making your storage device Mac compatible and even cross compatible with Macs and PCs is as simple as reformatting the drive in a proper format. First and foremost, before proceeding any further, you're about to format your storage device. Be sure to copy any and all files from the drive as the data on the drive is going to be erased. This can be a simple task or a long undertaking depending on the size and usage of the storage device, but it is a necessary and important step. You can reformat a hard drive in Mac OS X by using Disk Utility. In the left-hand side of Disk Utility, you will see a list of all the connected hard drives. Each physical drive is shown with the partitions of that drive nested below. Highlight the physical drive you wish to reformat, and on the menu at the top of the right-hand side, select Erase. You will see two fields where you can choose a file system format and a field to name the new partition you're going to create. If you're just going to use your drive on Mac computers, you can select one of the Mac OS options. If you wish to create a partition, which is cross-compatible with Mac computers as well as PCs, you can select either MS-DOS or the XFAT format. I'll select MS-DOS and rename the hard drive. I'll click Erase, and now the drive is being reformatted in a cross-compatible filing system. If I click on the drive and select Get Info, we can now see that the permissions are set to read and write. NTFS is a great format to use if you're using your drive solely on a Windows-based PC. But if you need to use your drive on Mac OS or on both PCs and Mac OS, NTFS will unfortunately not be the best format to use. In this tutorial, I've identified the cause of the read-only error that Mac users may find when using external storage devices. I've also shown you how to easily fix the problem by reformatting your drive in a Mac OS compatible format. This is Robert Anthony for MacTuts Plus. Thanks for watching.